Forests are the green lungs of our planet. During the day, trees absorb carbon dioxide and produce the oxygen we need to breathe. But at night, the process is reversed. So what does this mean for the global climate equation? In this forest in northern Italy, researchers from the European Commission's Joint Research Centre have set up a monitoring station that measures oxygen and CO2 levels. Here we've constructed a 36-metre tower rising roughly 10 metres above the canopy to measure how the forest breathes, meaning its intake and emission of CO2. The scientists need a head for heights to check and recalibrate the instruments. Sensors installed here collect the data to better understand how changes in the climate affect the forest's biochemistry. These instruments measure the flows of carbon dioxide, water and ozone, as well as other parameters such as the total solar radiation and the part of solar spectrum that plants absorb and use for photosynthesis. Our instruments are located at the optimal height above the canopy to measure the exchange processes between the atmosphere and the forest ecosystem. All living organisms, including plants and soil bacteria, produce CO2 as part of their normal metabolism. Under sunlight, plants convert carbon dioxide into carbohydrates, but at night, photosynthesis stops and CO2 is emitted into the atmosphere. What we want to learn from these measurements is how this process is tied to changing climate conditions. If the temperature or water availability changes, how much will it affect the capacity of plants to absorb CO2 from the atmosphere? So what do the measurements show? Scientists will require years of continuous monitoring to collect the data that might show how forests gradually lose their capacity to store CO2. A better understanding of this process should help governments to take countermeasures. Our station is set up for long-term monitoring of the CO2 flows, so we'll be tracking the effects of climate change on the forest ecosystem over the next 10 years. We would have to extend this research at a European and worldwide level to see how forests react to climate change, to global warming, and what their capacity to store CO2 in the future will look like.